Yo, what's up guys? I'm Code Gray. Welcome to the channel. So this weekend, my wife had to go help her brother and her nephew, our nephew, uh, do some family stuff over the weekend. Now, much to her dismay, she wasn't able to take the bike. She was not too happy, but she had to take her car. So that left me a perfect opportunity to steal her bike and do a moto vlog. Now, why do I say steal her bike? Well, it didn't take long, probably about a week, maybe a week and a half, where she became very protective of this bike. And not that I'm not allowed on it, but <laughs> I think she would rather me not be on it. But you know that old saying, when the cat's away, the mice will play, right? And since I'm out on a stolen bike, figured what a better time to talk about bike theft. So I guess the way I'll start this video is maybe I'll talk about some of the things that I do personally that try to deter people from stealing my bikes. Also, I'll say that the things that I do, it's, it's not really a whole lot because I'm very lucky in the fact that in the area that I live in, bike theft really, well, it really isn't that big of a problem. But I know for some of you guys in uh, other areas, it's a huge problem. All right, I suppose we'll start out by uh, saying, what do I do to help protect my bikes while I'm at home? Well, unfortunately for me, I don't have a garage. So I can't just put the bikes in the garage, lock up the doors and forget about it. But on the bright side, the way my house is, oh, there goes a the deer. <clears throat> Squirrel. Um, anyway, the way my house is, the way it faces the street, it's angled at just the right position to where when you're driving by my house, where I park my bikes, you can't see it. So, kind of no matter which way that you're going by my house, you won't see my bikes. So, at least that part is good. Also, what I do is I cover my bike up at night. And the cover that I use, it's the same bike cover I had since I started riding. So it is very worn and weathered looking. So if someone were to actually go by my house slow enough and close enough to be able to see my bike, they're gonna see something very worn and weathered and hopefully think that uh, whatever's under that cover probably ain't worth stealing. All right, so what do I do when I'm out running around? Going to stores or restaurants or wherever just stopping wherever well the first thing I do when I get off the bike is of course lock the steering that way no one can just easily walk up and roll away with it I know that's not a complete deterrent a couple of guys could pick it up and throw it in the back of a van no problem but you know anything to help deter now the second thing um, if you watch some people's videos, you'll notice that when they go to park, they'll park their bike like right up next to the building, store, restaurant, or whatever that they go to. <clears throat> Personally, I haven't really investigated to see how legal that is. So, uh, I don't do that just because I don't feel like coming back out and finding a ticket on my bike. So what I do is I, I just park out into the most visible parking spot I can find. I try not to park in between vehicles because then the bike's easily hidden. Probably a little bit easier to sneak up on and get away with it. So I try to keep it as visible as possible like if I'm in a store. Now if I'm at a restaurant, I try to park to where when I'm sitting I can see my bike from where I'm eating. Granted, they don't always seat you at the right spots to be able to do that, but uh, sometimes I can, you know, ask the waitresses, you know, here, can I be set over here in this booth or whatever, and they'll oblige. Usually isn't that big of a deal. Okay, so what don't I do when I take the bike out? 
<clears throat> well, I don't take any type of locks. I don't take any type of chains. No, I don't chain my bike up to posts or poles or anything like that. Um, like I said, I'm just lucky enough to where in my area, it's really not that big of a deal. Which also, I'm actually really glad about that, that it, well, not just don't want to get my stuff stolen, but I'm really glad that the fact that I don't have to haul that kind of stuff around with me. You know, yes, I'm on the Rebel, which doesn't have saddlebags, and of course my normal bike, my CBR, no kind of storage on that either. So I, it would really kind of suck to have to carry a chain and a great big old lock in my backpack wherever I went. Now, as I said, I don't really have a whole lot of tips for keeping your bike safe because I don't have to go through it. But I know a lot of you guys do. I mean, I've seen the videos of uh, some of the problems you guys have to deal with uh, in England, especially. Uh, some of you guys, you have to install special locks in your garage, bolt giant hooks and chains to inside your garage. I even seen one guy install big metal bars across the garage door opening. So even if you lift the normal door, there's like four or five big, huge bars going across it. So you can't just easily access the garage. Those are going to pretty extreme measures. Now I know most of us don't have to deal with some of the stuff you see in like the videos that happen in South America where guys will just be riding in their bikes and all of a sudden these guys come up riding two up on a bike guy on the back will jump off and got a gun in his hand and uh, steals a bike at gunpoint makes the guy get off the bike and give it to him I even seen some that was bad enough to where the guy not only stole his bike but he took the dude's helmet and his jacket that's pretty cold so I guess what you guys could do is go in the comments and leave some of your best tips to help prevent bike theft. You know, not only could you leave some of the comments about preventing bike theft, but maybe you got some insight or some good tips on if your bike does get stolen. Maybe stuff like how to claim on your insurance, how to contact the police. I haven't had to deal with that. Maybe some of you guys have. And it would really help out some of the other riders like us. Alright guys, I should probably wrap this up because uh, I've been on the bike long enough and uh, I'm probably in enough trouble with the wife. I don't need to make it worse. <laughs> but before I do close up, uh, I did want to mention one thing. Um, I am getting very close to 400 subscribers. I think I need like 24 or 25 more. And one of the goals I'm trying to hit is maybe hit that 400 by Halloween. So if you could, of course, like the video, subscribe, and share the video if you could. Uh, see if you can help me hit that goal by Halloween. That'd be pretty cool. All right, guys, thank you for checking out the video, and don't forget, protect your bikes. All right, I'm Code Gray. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Man has been a minute since I have been in this cruiser position oh my butt <laughs> yeah